All right, so I'm gonna show how to remove the SSD on this 11 inch MacBook Pro early 2014 model A1465. So we're going to use a Pentalobe, um, Pentalobe 1.2 or P5 screwdriver. All right, and we're gonna remove all the screws from the bottom. So just take them out and then you put the flat side down in the pattern you remove them. So that way you can keep track of where the screws came from, all right? You want to make sure to put back the same screws where you got them because they are different size, shape, and lengths. As you can see, this one's much longer, right? And if you mix them up, you can actually damage your computer. If this video helps you, please make sure to like and subscribe and share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to work on their devices, all right? If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel so that I can continue doing this for a living. All right, every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated, All right? I actually do these repairs for a living, but as I continue showing people how to fix these themselves, my business is slowly going, getting less and less. So hopefully you guys can help contribute so that I can continue doing this, all right? All right, let's go ahead and finish removing all these screws. So their SSD is, um, not mounting properly and then when i used a program called disk warrior it's actually giving a um error message saying that the disk the hard drive or ssd's temperature sensor isn't working properly all right so now that we've removed all those screws i'm going to switch over to a t5 torx 5 screwdriver but anyways let's go ahead and remove the cover just go on the back here and pull it up um it's actually pretty clean inside i don't know how they have it so clean but the ssd isn't super hot or anything so nothing strange all right let's go ahead and remove the ssd there's the one screw there once you remove that screw we can go ahead and lift this slightly up grab the sides and pull this out all right i'm not going to show how to disassemble everything else um, but most of this is pretty straightforward you got the battery here there's five screws um, to remove this, there's this connector. You just pop this up like that to disconnect it. All right. If you're going to do anything with the screen connector here, make sure that you disconnect the battery, open up the computer and press and hold the power button 10 to 15 seconds before um, disconnecting or moving that screen cable. All right. All the rest of these connectors in here are just like the um, 13 inch MacBook Airs. So if you wanted to see how to take those apart, it's essentially the same thing. Things are moved around a little bit differently, but for the most part, it's the same. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and test the SSD. There's not much else I'm gonna show in here. So actually, I'm going, going to reassemble this, okay? So let's go ahead and put this screw back just so I don't have to worry about it later. Okay, the customer um, said that their main goal is to get the data back, so we're just going to reassemble this. I have a little adapter that I can read it with, but I also tried booting the SSD externally and it didn't want to work properly. So if they're lucky, it might be a sensor inside on the motherboard or the logic board. I'm doubting it, but uh, if they're lucky, we might be able to access the data with an external adapter because if we can't, then they're gonna have to send it to a data recovery place. The cheapest place I know, they're actually called $300 data recovery. They're like in the LA area. Um, but yeah, so that's the cheapest place I know that will do a good job. All right, not sponsored by them or anything, so I don't really get anything out of it. I kind of wish I would, but it's, it's not really necessary as long as people get like a uh, good job done and they aren't paying like a crazy amount. All right, so let's go ahead and get all these screws in. All right, very simple. Now I'm gonna actually boot the um, this MacBook using my external boot. So I had High Sierra installed onto a USB hard drive or SSD that I kind of made all right, so let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so I have this SSD with the Mac OS on it. So I'm gonna power this up. I'm gonna press and hold the option key. So by pressing and holding the option key, it will let me select the boot device. Um, 
All right, so there we go. The internal SSD, when it was connected, took forever to get to the screen because it's having problems reading, but here we go. I'm gonna boot Hi Sierra. Okay, I'm gonna get my Mac SSD enclosure here so I can connect that and just to test it. All right. So I'm gonna set that aside. Let's pop this thing open and get the SSD enclosure out. All right. They have all different types of versions of this kind of enclosure. So if you're gonna try and do something similar, make sure you find one that's compatible with your Mac. All right, so yeah, and this is a MacBook Air 2014, so the SSD is for this one. All right, so we're gonna get that. We're gonna pop this into the adapter here. Let me get the screw back in. Okay. I'm gonna drop this back into the enclosure. Just like that. Get the bottom connector in. Click that into place. Let's go ahead and reconnect this and plug in the USB. Oh, let's log in first. Okay, there we go, it's working just fine. Let's plug this in. And let's see if anything happens with this SSD. So I got all right, let's go ahead and close that. Let's go to computer. All right, sorry, I'm doing this stuff off screen. Um, I'm not seeing the SSD plugged in, so I have a feeling it's not gonna work. I'm gonna go to the utility. Sorry, again, you can't really see what I'm doing, but let's open up the disk utility here. Okay, it's loading. And I can already tell the SSD is bad because otherwise this should load a lot faster. So I'm going to just wrap this up in this packaging here and then give that to the customer. But yeah, as you can see, I don't see anything happening. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna unplug this. Right, let's try plugging it in one more time. See if there's any change. No change at all. Okay, so nothing's happening. Let's close this. Entering my password. All right, I'm opening Disk Warrior now and it's scanning for disks, but uh, nothing is happening. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this SSD is toast. But um, yep. So anyways, uh, I don't know if this video would help anybody. Hopefully it'll at least show you how to replace your SSD um, but or point you in the right direction if you find my other A1466 model MacBook Airs, which is a 13-inch MacBook Air. But anyways, that's pretty much all there is that I'm going to show. It looks like the SSD is dead. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Let's drop this.